John, there's people getting rich. Stock picking, right? Every single day you can wake up, read the newspaper, and you can see a stock going up 100%, 200% in a short period of time. A lot, big returns. But you can see the opposite too, right? Sure can. They show you stuff like this. He's up 33%. This was July 2003. That's when the markets were going up. Again, coming out of the 2001 and 2002 uh, big downturn. But the implication is he could keep doing that year after year after year. I would have liked to see his 2001 returns. That's what I would have liked to see. It's anecdotal evidence. It means nothing. Just like the gambler investors, they gamble by stock picking or market timing. Mistake luck with skill. Luck is fleeting. So skill persists. If you have that skill, you could do it over and over and over again. So here's Adam Scott with a little Dilbert cartoon, right? You got this guy here. I bought my first stock and it went up 5% in a week. That means I'm a stock picking genius. I plan to max out all my credit cards and become a day trader. He's look at his greedy little look, right? right? Okay. But but the total market was up 6%. Well, that's just luck. It can't do that forever. Right? Mistaking luck for genius. Just like winning the lottery, there's always someone getting lucky. All they have to do is show you this. Just like they show you the big winners in the stock market to get you to play. And, you know, the big brokerage houses, Fidelity and Charles Schwab and, and E-Trade and, and TD Ameritrade, they have, you know, all their options classes. Then they want you to trade and trade and trade because that's how they make money. They don't care if you make money or not. That's how they make money. So they show you this and, of course, you play the lottery every once in a while. Remember this? $1.5 billion. Remember that jackpot? That was just crazy. But it's false hope. It's what it is. It's false hope. Every time the jackpot gets bigger and bigger and bigger, uh, you get all these news stories, right? Oh, it's going to be big, and you get the, all the lines forming and to buy lottery tickets. I, you know, I've never waited in a line to buy a lottery ticket. I have to admit, I do. That's about the extent of the gambling that I do. And I can walk through a casino and not put in a quarter, but I'll buy a lottery ticket every once in a while. So, but every time you'll see these lines build up and these these news, and then I I see these guys interviewing this guy Richard Lustig. I've seen him, pro, pro, you'll see him now too as, as the lines come up. Um, he comes on and they interview him because he's a lottery expert. He's won the lottery seven times. Seven times. So he's an expert and, uh, and, and you'll see him on the TV. He's on almost all the channels when the, when the jackpot gets big. Right, Robin, we all are going to win with these tips this morning. These machines are going to be so busy today. That's because by this time tomorrow, one lucky person could be $363 million richer. So how do you pick that winning ticket? Well, it turns out it's a combination of luck and strategy. $363 million is a lot of money. Whomever wins tomorrow will end up richer than Tom Cruise, Elton John, even J-Lo and Britney. Do you get lucky with tens of thousands of tickets on sale in almost every state in the country? We went to Richard Lustig, who literally wrote the book on winning after hitting the jackpot himself seven times. He says, first, do your homework. Going online and making sure the set or sets of numbers you play have never come up before. That's pretty important. Don't leave it to the machine. Pick your own numbers. Do not play quick picks. Lustig plays the lottery like a full-time job, and though he's won big, he loses too, but he never stops playing. Above all, he says, commit to your numbers and stick with your strategy. You have to learn what numbers to play and how often to play them. And stay cool. Avoid lottery fever. When the jackpot gets this high, people tend to spend too much on tickets. Don't go crazy, because no matter how many you buy, your odds are still the same. And if you believe 
believe it's only a matter of time before every number is drawn. Grab a pencil. These numbers, 12, 13, 41, 55, and 56, have not come up in the last 25 drawings. And this time might be their turn. The drawing is tonight. Robin and George, good luck. Thank you. 12, I cannot 13, believe you guys are writing down this 55, numbers. 56. See, they fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. So winning the lottery is a combination of luck and skill. Did you guys know that? You can buy his book, Richard Lustig, you know, $23.47. He's got a one-hour course online that you can take on winning lottery tickets. And uh, where do you get that? You can, Amazon. This is Amazon. Well, here's the truth about Mr. Lustig. Richard's total wins, because you're thinking he's won like $100 million, right? His total wins were a million and fifty-two thousand dollars. Okay, so it, and his his first win was in 1993. His last win was in 2010. If it's skill, why isn't he winning all the time? A couple of those wins were just prizes, not cash awards. His biggest win was in 2002. 842,000. So of that million and 52, wow. it's one time he won 800. So was that luck or skill? <laughs> yeah. And then all, you know, to, to, if you really know numbers, every time you pick a lottery ticket or you buy a lottery ticket, your odds are exactly the same as the time before. It makes no difference what type of strategy that you use. So all these bogus things that they do, setting a lottery budget and don't use quick pick and playing the same numbers every week and select sequential numbers and reinvest your winnings, you know, play numbers that haven't been part of a winning combination. It's all useless, useless information. So you guys feel lucky today? Very lucky. Ah, so you, there's copies of lottery tickets in your, in your folder. Those are actually real lottery tickets. And Kara and Kara are going to pass out some sign-up sheets. Everybody that's here today, you sign the, your name. And if you're, if you're here today, and if we get really, really, really lucky and win the lottery, we're all going to share in that participation, OK? But what are the odds of us hitting the jackpot? Yeah, pretty much zero. Okay. So to make it a little bit more fun, we used to buy like 40 tickets for one drawing, but it doesn't matter if you have one ticket or 40 tickets, it really doesn't matter. So what Kara did for us is she bought for the next eight drawings, for, so for four weeks, we'll get you know, a little bit of a chance. So to make it a little bit more fun, and then that'll help you remember this class, right? So. So how does it feel that we might be a millionaire over the next four weeks, right? Does it feel good? We, we did win once, didn't we? Well, I've, I've won the lottery. Yeah, so I'm an expert too. I think I won 10 bucks one time. So if I gave you a million dollars to invest, would you go out in tonight's lottery and buy a million tickets or put it in your prudent, broadly diversified portfolios? Yeah, bring it to me, sure. We'll put it in your account, right? And chances at the end of five years, 10 years, not only will you have that million dollars, but you'll have a lot more on top of that million dollars. If you put in the lottery tickets, chances are, well, you might win a little bit, but chances are you'll end up with zero, even with a million tickets. Similar to the stock picker and trader, people that gamble in the financial arena, they have the fantasy. That fantasy, what if they bought that stock? One click of the mouse, one buy of the ticket, one pull of the slot machine. I guess you don't pull them anymore, right? See, that's how, the, you see, see, I don't play, so I don't know that kind of stuff. So I'm going to make a lot of money. I'm going to be rich.